Hey there guys, Alton McFall here on Rue Saint-Denis in the Plateau Mont-Royal, part of Montreal, on another fabulous, fabulous day. Now turned into evening, it's, uh, I don't know, it's after five. But, if you must know what time it is exactly, it is 5.34. You know, one of the things I've always loved about this street, though, is again, all the old architecture, I mean, just ancient buildings 100 years 150 years i'm sure there are some that are even older <coughs> i was a little uh, i was a little hesitant actually on making this video because yeah, a couple of things i saw and then was not too happy with uh for one thing uh when i got here from moto royale which is the next block not that light but the next street over here moto royale there was all these homeless people there panhandling and stuff and uh you know, it's just depressing. I used to, you know, I used to never see that. I mean, I've been around this area like going over 20 years now, you know, and you never used to see that. And also, you never used to see a street that's been made into two bike lanes, one going south and the other one going north. So from a four-lane road now to a two-lane road. Is that good? A lot of people would say yes. I'm not a lot of people. I'm, you know, I'm a critic. Uh, yes, it's true. It's safer. It's good if you're a hardcore biker. Uh, because it's true, you're going to biking on on uh, big boulevards like that is pretty dicey. But the other downside is that uh, you know it makes for also uh, more traffic, more cars uh, slow down, uh, more congestion. I, I I I don't know. I said that in a, in a video I did recently of something I saw like that in a Hunsik. But 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 uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You know. What are you gonna do, man? That's the thing with getting older. You get, you know, you often become more skeptic. I'm not, uh, I'm not the young man I used to be, and the only people who still say that I'm young are people who are older than me, you know. So uh, now I know I did a walking video years ago on this street, uh, more south of here. Lovely. So it might not have been here, but I know it was closer to Sherbrooke Metro Station and south of there. Yeah, I am not going far this evening because I was pretty tired today and I just did some work uh, before I left on the painting of the LTD taxi. Going great. And, uh, well, also because you see, I, uh, I don't currently have any uh, butter chicken sauce left. And unfortunately, I went to two dipeners in my area. They didn't have any. And the one I used to go to, she didn't have any at all. I'm like, man. So now I've made a mental note of my to go pick some up uh, because I've already started defrosting my chicken. Is this my exciting life or what? It, wow. See, what I do is when I want to remember something, I write it down in my hand. You know, I don't see anything wrong with that. Probably a lot less ink than some people with their heavy tattoos get there. Like, it reminds me of something I saw on Facebook, something in the, in the, uh, the ink that uh, somebody got cancer from. Uh, like, I don't know if it's a coincidence or not. I thought it was interesting though. This zone, yeah. This is the kind of area where I like can't afford anything that's here, you know. Look at that nice beamer, nice color. That's right, buddy. I'm filming you. Nice Porsche. Dirty. Well, you can see by those three cars, this is not a poor area, and that's why it troubled me to see those homeless people on that corner of Mont Royal before. I thought that's fucked up, frankly. Um, it's not right, you know. C'est pas correct, as we say in French. Francais. Is that WRX? Wow, look at that thing, eh? You guys remember my friend Ed who has the Corvair? He says he had one of those once and he says it's such a major heat score. He's like, he's like, he's, he's, he says it's terrifying driving that because there's too much power and it's loud and everything. I'm like, yeah, I get that. And now we are at uh, Rachel Street or maybe it's really called Rachel. It's probably Rachel, you know. Look at this. Clearly this used to be a bank. How the fuck does a bank go out of business on a major street that's not a ghetto? On a major intersection? I don't understand stuff like that. I've seen this recently. Look, look, look. Sign of the times. But this though, when it comes to stores closing, it's not just because of COVID. That's been like that for a long time. It's because people are shopping online more than ever, you know? All the cycling, all the cycling, cycling, cycling. I'm not a fan of bike paths per personally. But then again, you guys have subscribed to my, my channel probably know by now I'm not that much of a conformist so yeah bike paths are definitely not my thing 
I like to go off the beaten path. And both my, my, both my bicycles are way older than me. One's a 58, one's a 47. So how's that for old school? How's that for not being conformist, eh? There's a scrap. Very busy bike path here as well. That guy almost went into my hand, my arm. Yeah, and you know you're in Quebec when people are lined up to get booze. Look at that lineup, eh? Holy shit, man. A drug is a drug, as I always say. Hi, yo. Eh? That's crazy, eh? Well, if it comes to a point where you don't have to line up to go in SAQ anymore, that means that you can't, we don't have to wear a mask anymore, and that means that COVID has pretty much subsided or under more control. Look at this building. Check that out. I mean, this one's kind of neat. That's an old industrial building, but this is really a, something else, those windows. And let me uh, zoom in on that for you. It's quite, a, quite something. Must be a story behind that, I'm sure. Yeah. Anyway, as we say in French, je vais continuer. Uh, I will continue. I'm not going to say this we business. I don't understand people make videos like me, they're YouTubers, and they say we this, and we're going to do this, we're going to do this. What are you fucking talking about? You're one person. Uh, I tell you right now, people are crazy today. Why was I born so late? Me, me I'm born too late. Look at me. I'm wearing a, a t-shirt of a new look bus that I did a painting of, and, and uh, I've been retired since 2002. You know? But I'm hoping one day to go to St. Sidney Cap where they got a few of those along with tons of classics, or maybe not, I don't know, maybe they got rid of them all their own. Recycled metal, wow. See, she's a thumbnail right there, I think, eh? But there's so much to look at on this street that's still beautiful. Uh, more so than uh, St. Catherine, I think, personally. I think St. Catherine has gone downhill, unfortunately. Oh, not scrap, nice. Yeah, buddy. That's a driver, nice and easy, a 2005. Pretty sure it's a 2005, let me see. Come on, zoom. Two thousand five, twenty-five to thirty. Alrighty then, on the thirty route. All right. Giggity giggity. <laughs> hey Peter. Hey Quangmaya. Oh, that fucking show, man. Look at this. You see this green here? I call that hospital green. Ah ah ah. Owns. Another dumb name. Oh my God. Sin City. Okay, that makes more sense. Probably, a, probably, a, probably a tattoo parlor. I figure by any kind of a name. Anyway, and if I talk loud a lot right now, it's because I don't want that music to interfere with my monetization. Or attempt monetization. Wow, look at that, eh? Sorry. That's pretty cool. Love those uh, bay windows. Oh God, I'd love to have a place with a bay window. I dream of it. <sighs> what the hell is this place? Foreign drinks. Oh, wow. Atta boy. Good stuff. You're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> That's a lot better than the guy in the... I don't even know what it is. I love that color. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. We need more colors, bro. You know? Nice touch. Looks vintage. It's not, probably. Look at that. Look. See what I mean? See, I hate that because quite honestly, I'll tell you something right now. I think you guys know me. I was telling this to a couple of friends earlier uh, this week. I realized recently that, you know me, well, you know me, I, I honestly, I, I wish I, I, I couldn't put a filter. I do have a filter. There are things that, that I, I do say that, uh, that I think that I wish I could say, but I can't because it's really, like very wrong, you know, like just shunned upon and then some people will laugh. You know, some people, it's like Andrew Dice Clay. Andrew Dice Clay was like, one of the most uh, controversial comedians there ever ha ever were, you know, and but the guy was fucking hilarious. A totally a different time going back 30 years. And now we're at uh, Saint Denis and Duluth, Duluth, like Duluth, Minnesota, which I've never been to, but I'm good in geography, and I like that mural. Ah, uh, yes, Montreal's amazing murals and vintage architecture always make up for all the boring cars. Well, at least that Toyota had a nice color on it. You know. You think I can stop talking for a minute? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now.
<laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh what the hell is this? What am I looking at here? Oh my god. Not bad, eh? I stayed mostly quiet for almost a minute, if not that. No? Eh? BMW 1 Series. Not the most successful product they ever made, eh? Can you imagine how much an apartment over here costs? Can you imagine that? Cafe Mimi. See? That's nice. Nice and quaint name. It's not exaggerated. It's not ridiculous. I think it's closed though. Documenting, I'm documenting, documenting my city. And I'm gonna let this guy go by me because he's walking faster and I ain't in any rush. Not at all. Pantut. Another art gallery. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm definitely sometimes tempted to put my paintings in an art gallery. I know it could help me make a name for myself, but I figure what the fuck do I need them for? I mean, you know, I've already got a name for myself online. I've already sold art because of because of being a YouTuber, because of being known. I don't want to say famous because you know famous is like you know I'm known all over the world, so to speak. Uh, but uh, you know again, uh, an art gallery taking 50% of uh, of a sale. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm, I'm not a big fan of that at all. Seriously, you know, like let's say I sold my Christine picture painting for like fifteen hundred bucks, right? Fifteen hundred bucks. What do I get? I get seven fifty, and they get seven fifty. That's not fair. I don't see that being fair. I did all the work. Anyway, yeah, that's right. I'm YouTubing. I'm a YouTuber. I'm an eccentric. Friday night, I'm walking on Saint Denis. I don't have a life anyway, so it doesn't matter. What am I gonna do later? I'm gonna go home, make my butter chicken and rice, be very content. You know, smoke some weed, either watch a movie, an old movie, of course, listen to some music, and that's it. I don't have a fucking life. That's that's like probably so many of you out there. It's just what can I tell you, man? The life of a bi bipolar fuck is friends come and go, like how people own cars, for example. They come and go every few years. You know. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm happy that for you guys' sake, for you guys who are subscribed, even if you're not, but you watch my videos regularly, even not just a walking video, that's great, it's terrific, you know? I'm very, uh, very happy about that. Look at that, it's beautiful, eh? it's busy. Right on. Ooh, voyeur. This is another gallery, eh? A beautiful painting here. Mm hmm. So many nice shops here it's like more royal but more expensive in terms of items being sold really you know oh look at this this was a friperie friperie is um is um, like a vintage store you know oh that's not a lot at all eh taqueria looks good I really gotta do a walking video complete to the street, and I don't mean like the whole street, it's a fucking long ass street. But, you know, long as in like, you know, the nor northern part. I don't ever think I've ever filmed on the northern part of it. I know I did down here, I know I did past Barry. I think I even went all the way down to uh, uh, Old Montreal. It's a good song, man. Suave. 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 Hey, nice. Cool. Dig it. Ten to six.
Now we're getting closer to uh, Metro Station Metro Sherbrooke. Again, I don't know where the hell to make sure they... Yeah, I might as well just go to Barry, I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't know what this place was. It looks like some kind of a nunnery or orphanage or something. Maybe a hospital. I don't know, you know. It seems a lot of times old buildings like that, big old buildings like that, they don't even have signs, so I'm visually impaired, even if they had one, it's too small to see, you know. And now we are approaching the beginning and the end of... That's right, Avenue des Pins, or as the Anglos call it, Pine Avenue. The question is, was it really Pine Avenue before, or was it always Avenue des Pins? That's what I wonder. You see, that's what you are. That's a true Montrealer when you're Fringlish. You appreciate both languages, the history, good or bad, français, anglais. It doesn't matter, fuck. But it matters to me about the street names, though. That matters. That's a big fucking deal. You know. Yeah, looking up there, you can see part of Mount Royal. I'm going to let these people go by here. I'm not going to make sure I'm not uh, getting up in their grill there. You know? This is a school. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went high. But it burns, 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 the ring of fire. The ring of fun. Why do I have, why did that song pop in my head? Why does any song pop in our heads for no apparent reason? Eh? Oh, look at this surprising sign, eh? Saint Denis Barry at Sherbrooke. Well, that's it. And we're going to finish at that at Sherbrooke. There you go. Et voila. You see? Everything happens for a reason. And if you're offended by me making an accent like I'm an Arab, well, fuck, go watch something else, man, because I'm fucking 45 years old. I don't give a shit, really, because people today. Take themselves too fucking seriously. That's the problem with people today. Mwah, big baby, big. I'm offended by everything. Don't watch my videos. I'm sorry, I didn't know you had a kid there. So I'm still respectful, even though I'm allowed to. Take it easy, have a good night. I think they were totally stunned. Oh my god, it was Indian food, dude. They're gonna eat. I'm, star I'm not starving, but I'm always starving for Indian food. Uh, that was the first kind of <laughs> me going off on a tangent like that. And I look over, it's like I'm in a scene of with those two people, this couple with their little. Sorry about that. I, uh, Heard a cop car there, I thought it was responding, so uh, always on the ready. Always ready. And yeah, we're gonna wrap this up soon. I'd like to take this opportunity as I'm gonna wrap this up slow here. The next light is uh, Sherbrooke. I'm gonna stop. If you enjoy what I do and uh, you wanna, uh, you wanna show your love, you wanna show your support, you can send me uh, Whatever you want, 10 bucks, you know, 100 bucks, $3,000, <laughs> whatever you want through a, a PayPal or an e-transfer is even better in Canada. Uh, my email is Elton McFall, Elton like Elton John, McFall, M-C-F-A-L-L, -L, Elton McFall at Hotmail.com. Thank you very much. That's a pretty nice Mercedes, especially since it's a rare color for a Mercedes, C1 red. And uh, yeah, if you wanted to send me cash through the mail, that's not impossible either. Uh, you just, you know, send me a comment and I'll, uh, you know, float on down my address to you. And uh, you can do that. You can do that. So which way is this 24 going? Is he, oh, he's off, out of service. So that's it, man. Uh, it'd be cool. I'd like to finish this off with a high note. In other words, seeing, you know, if not something responding, well, some cool car there driving by or truck or something. That'd be nice. Not this fucking scrap. You know, finishing right here at Saint Denis and Sherbrooke. Oh, and by the way, down down there, down the hill here on Sherbrooke, uh, Saint Denis, that's where I filmed the snow removal operation. That was uh, last winter, and there's my reflection. Hey, looking sharp, eh? Yeah. All right. Peace out, y'all. Take care. Hasta luego. Be safe, be kind, be respectful, and always have class. It's like I often say to people, you know, oh, that's a nice uh, Astro or Safari. I may have a big mouth, I may be opinionated, may not agree with what I say, but I'm a classy guy with respect. That's what it's all about. It's like I always say about the Mafia. The Mafia, they do their thing, may not be right, but you treat them with respect, they will treat you with respect. It's tradition. It's just, that's how it, that's what separates us from the animals, for Christ's sake. So thanks for watching, take care, adios, bonsoir, and uh, hasta luego.